Hello everyone, uh, this is another quick tutorial where I'll show you how you can use uh, Microsoft Flow to automate uh, your daily tasks. So what happens is usually we have uh, we have some updates being running on on our social medias uh, where we want to uh, like whenever there is a new update we want to push it to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and all those multiple uh, social media accounts but what happens is it usually becomes very cumbersome to push all the updates uh, separately to all these platforms and uh, provided uh, like if you want to automate it further so like if there is a new uh, blog post so you want to publish it automatically to Twitter Facebook so it uh, you might have to you use some plugins but uh, you we all know that using plugins sometimes slows down the website's performance so what uh, we are going to show in this particular tutorial is that how you can use Microsoft flow uh to automate these kind of uh, uh tasks so like uh so starting with what is microsoft flow so microsoft flow uh like if you go to the website flow.microsoft.com so you can see like it is a uh, it is a hosted service which can help you automate your workflows uh between the favorite apps you have so like if you uh so like uh, what it does it it has a support of a lot of platforms and you can set triggers for uh, whatever uh, uh, like uh, timed triggers and uh, whenever that trigger uh, 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 comes into effect so what will happen dep uh, depending on uh, like you can create a flow and set uh, what happens uh, what uh, this when this particular update happens or uh, when this particular things get triggered so uh, they have a lot of services available with them so if you go, if we see what all services they are uh, supporting right now so you can see that the uh, base cam they are supporting so that means if there is a new uh, post on base camp in any project so you can get updates of it directly in your email or a push notification or you can push it to uh, your social media accounts like twitter or facebook uh, so it supports blogger blog box platform so like if new files are getting updated so you can set them set some triggers for that as well so there are a lot of similar platforms supported here so just for the purpose of this video what we'll do is uh, we'll show you uh, I'll show you a quick, uh, quick flow which you can create using Microsoft flow and uh, so uh, like which is a generic case which uh, which I came across when I was uh, doing some updates uh, for my one of my websites which is head love so head love is a website where uh, I push uh, some of the great header designs uh, so I uh, browse through internet and see what are the new uh, new upcoming websites and if they have a good header I curate all those and push it uh, to this particular website so what I wanted was that whenever there is a new website header updated on this particular website it should be posted to my social media accounts so right now I have only one uh, account linked with it which is the Twitter one so so right now I was uh, earlier I was using some other services uh, but uh, I came to know about Microsoft Flow, so I wanted to try with this. So to start with, uh, like once you are uh, logged into Microsoft Flow, uh, you will see all these options. Mm, like this is the home page which appears once you log in for the first time, and you can see there are options like My Flows. There are some templates. These are some ready-made templates which are already available by the community uh, or by Microsoft themselves, uh, which you can use. Uh, maybe uh, the, you can also use them uh, use these uh, templates is uh, very helpful plus there are other options as well and uh, there is a pricing pack uh, like uh, there is a pricing uh, behind this uh, particular uh, service so for if there is up to 750 uh, runs that means if you need to if there are 750 uh, social media updates uh, on a single channel so that is completely free uh, but if uh, it goes beyond that then you will probably have to pay for it uh, plus it will check every 15 minutes so the frequency of checking for the updates is uh, limited uh, is a bit uh, delayed in the free version but if you go there are other plans of um, where you can get better services like it uh, checks for every uh, every minute it checks for any update and it can uh, you can post up to 15,000 uh, requests uh, using this uh, advanced plan so let's uh, uh, so what I've done is what uh, for this particular uh, example, I 
already have a connection in place so connections are some uh, like if i want to post an update on twitter so definitely i need to link that twitter account with uh, my microsoft flow account so that uh, it uh, i authorize uh, microsoft flow on uh, on my behalf to post on uh, twitter uh, on twitter directly on my wall uh, on my uh, timeline so i have already linked my twitter account similarly if i want to create a new connection i can do that uh, by going to create connection and these are multiple connection like i can link my base camp account box account and uh, facebook account and any uh, of the accounts which are available here okay so uh, next uh, what i'm uh, i'll start with a basic template so uh, like once i go to my flows there is no flow as of now but it gives me an option to either create one from blank uh, or create from template so I uh, go and uh, hit create from blank. So it is asking me uh, like I can search for triggers. So it, there are a lot of triggers available here. So what I want is that whenever there is a new post, it's a WordPress block. So there is a default support for blogger, but a WordPress block, if you want to get updates from uh, push, push from a WordPress block. So what you can do is you can directly link your RSS feed. So what I go here and do is, so what I'll do is I'll search here for RSS. So it will show me that. Uh, so it is showing me that there is an RSS trigger available. So when a feed is item is published, so this will be triggered when there is a new feed item published on a particular RSS feed. So I can uh, put in here any RSS uh, feed URL. So uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll go ahead and uh, use the one which is for my website header love. So once I go here. Uh, this is the RSS feed URL. I'll just copy the link, and come back here and paste it. So this is uh, my RSS is coming to feed burner. So what I'll do is I'll just link, uh, put the link here, and um, uh, like the now like it is disconnected to this RSS feed. So I'll have to define what will be the next step uh, when uh, whenever there is a new item uh, feed published on this particular RSS. So I'll go here. I'll add an action. So an action could be like what happens when this happens. So I'll go here and I'll search for Twitter. So it shows me that oh, you can do multiple things uh, whenever there is a new item published. So it is showing me that there is an option to post a new tweet, when a new tweet is posted, get followers, get following. So a whole lot of options are here. So once you start using it, you can explore it further and automate the processes as you want. Uh, but for the, uh, the time being, I'll just go ahead and use post a tweet feature. So once I do that, so it, it is saying me that what ha should happen, what text I need to post uh, when this uh, particular new item is published to this RSS feed. So I'll go here. Uh, so what happens is it is showing me some ready-made options also. So it is showing me that uh, if I want to publish the content of the feed summary, the feed title, the feed. Uh, any links item all these it uh, all these options are some automated options so what i'll ideally want is that whenever there is a new feed uh, item updated so i want the title to come first so i'll select feed title then i'll give a space and then i'll give a ha hyphen sign and next will be the primary feed link so how it will be like is the title of the feed plus the link to that particular feed so once that is done, I'll just go ahead and this, and I'll just. So this is done from my end, and now this is a simple uh, flow we created. So whenever a new item is published, it will be posting a new tweet. So as soon as I click create flow, uh, it will it, it is showing me that this flow is being saved and it is now uh, completed. So once this is done, so the uh, this particular flow will start running and whenever the, a new item is published so it will start posting on my twitter timeline so um, like this was a very simple one we created but you can go ahead and check uh, their documentation and the templates which are available and create uh, custom and complex flows as well uh, plus they also have support for uh, putting your custom api so if you are having an API of your own, you want to link it uh, with the service somehow, so you can you ever also do that. So uh, a whole lot of options are available here. So I found this to be very useful. 
for automating my uh, daily task social media updates plus uh, i guess like uh, depending on what kind of uh, work you do you can mm, uh, like uh, use the service uh, the way you want and uh, you can probably get updates on email instead of getting uh, them posted on social media or you can get push notifications on your device if you have the app installed so yeah one more thing so they also have their apps available uh, on mobile phone so on both ios and android they have an app available so you can even create flows and monitor your flows from there as well so i hope uh, like this would be useful and you will be using this uh, uh, microsoft flow to automate your task and if you uh, have any comments or feedback for me you can leave in the comments below so thank you very much thanks for watching this tutorial